In Crew 9, we added a 5-axis finishing toolpath to the High Speed Milling Plus extension. It is called Geodesic and is the most advanced technology for finishing currently on the market. Geodesic is a toolpath optimized for spherical tools. Let's see a quick glimpse of this functionality. The machining references selected are all the surfaces on the top of this part, which basically includes many pockets in itself. In the toolpath preview, we can see a nice constant cusp finishing toolpath, quite stable and smooth considering the complexity of the part. Geodesic is supporting cut types consistent with other Creo NC toolpaths, like zigzag, spiral, one way. There are different options to control the axis tilting as well. Options to define the leads. How to handle the gaps along the cut. How to control the links between slices. How to define the tangential extensions. As well, we can define check surfaces and tool motions along other functionalities consistent to Creo NC toolpaths. In this manufacturing model, I define two geodesic sequences. The first one, just to show in the material removal simulation environment, what can be the resulting stock model out of this finishing sequence. And in the second one, I use the containment curves option to machine only the pockets. You can see that a finishing like this before geodesic needed at least as many toolpaths as pockets you may have in the geometry, or maybe two or three per pocket. And now it's only one geodesic finishing sequence in the Model 3, handling all the links between pockets and performing the collision checking for us automatically. With geodesic, we will be able to eliminate many manual steps to prepare the geometry for finishing. Due to smooth axis interpolations, it will give you better surface finishing and stable kinematics, just to name some benefits of this new geodesic toolpath in Creo NC. Thank you.